Good morning, happy Monday, welcome back to a new vlog and what a surprise, I am sick again. Not that bad than last time, but yeah. So all in all, I'm super fit, I just have some sore throat and my nose is running. Um, so here's a little um, review from the last two days. I got a little bit of sore throat on Saturday and then from Saturday to Sunday it got worse at night, so... I was a little bit freaking out on Sunday because, as you know, I was quite six a month ago where I had to take antibiotics and yeah, I was afraid that it get worse again and I have to take antibiotics again. So the last week was super busy, the weather was not that good and some of my friend, friends also have tonsillitis and yeah, sore throat and I was in contact with them so I thought I will. Uh, get it checked quite early because I have no meds at home. Yeah, nevertheless, I went to the doctor on Sunday and while I was walking to the doctor, a bee got stuck in my shoe and bite me. <laughs> this was so random. While I was walking and I was like, ouch! And then I saw there is a bee inside of my shoe. Now my foot looks like this. Okay, please ignore my beautiful feet but yeah this is how my ankle looks the bee bite me over here and this is how it looks it's so it's so itchy yesterday was the most beautiful day until now this summer we had 30 degrees and sunshine and i was on the couch the whole day drinking some tea because i thought i had to take it slow so that everything don't get worse Today I don't feel that bad, I just have a little sore throat and my nose is running and a little bit, yeah, closed. So I thought I will start my day with inhalation again. And that's it. Now I get ready and then it's time for day five at the apartment. Let's get ready. By the way, I did the inhalation with some herbs from my mom. Um, she always collects them and this is so nice to have fresh herbs and I also put in some salt and some tea tree oil. <laughs> So I packed all your orders and I will ship it today or tomorrow so Stay tuned, it's arriving soon. So this is today's outfit and I'm off to the apartment now and I'm curious how the floor looks. I'm so sorry for my sick voice but today the sealant is dry and then they impregnate it again. After that the Dopo Finish Light Plus is applied twice and this is how the floor looks so far. I'm back home again for a quick hot minute <laughs> and I'm cooling my leg because it's so freaking itchy and swollen and oh, guys I can't tell you how itchy it is I could just I cool it a little bit and will eat something for lunch and I made myself some more tea and do some work. Then I have to bring the car to the car shop and later I will be in the apartment again. And then we have a super exciting meeting regarding our furniture and yeah, that's my Monday. Now I'm off to the appointment. Guys, this is so swollen. <laughs> Oh my god, the last appointment of the day done and oh my god, my foot is so swollen. So I put on some ice, so it's crazy. 
I hope this is good in two days when we're going to Paris. <gasps> so crazy. It looks so awful. I will now put it over there. And I made myself some dinner. And now I will work from the couch. Good morning. Um, I'm still sick. Maybe you can hear it. My food is, <laughs> my food is even more swollen. And I'm just off to the apartment for a quick visit. And then I will go to the doctor because I don't know if this is an allergic reaction because it hurts. But yeah, let's go. Last but not least, they have removed the petition bands and the floor is finished for now. So a little update from today, um, the floor is not 100% ready yet. We have removed all the partition bands in every room and now we still have to do the joints. And there are still some small things they have to fix. For now it's done and we are in Paris in two days. And I hope my leg is getting better until the end. But really looking forward and now I will enjoy my breakfast. And I wanted to buy a cool pad, um, like a liquid one, because I just have this stable one and yeah, this is so annoying for the, for the food. And yeah, they didn't have one in the pharmacy and I was too lazy to go to another shop because I was too hungry and now I'm using peas. This is my current view, having breakfast, working and having peace on my food. <laughs> okay guys, we now put on some clock on my leg. Because um, my mom used to do this every time when, when we had some swollen things like after my surgery. We just always used it when we got some swollen areas on our body. And so I just bought some quark and now we put some quark on my leg. You know, I don't eat milk products since 2017 and I always think this smells so disgusting. disgusting. I built this thing over here and now I can put my leg up there and then we put this on it. I'm still on the couch and I'm wearing a face mask. I don't know if you can see it. My foot is still swollen. I did another quack session but I have no sore throat anymore and I feel, I'm feeling really good. It looks like I'm crying or something like this, but this face mask is a little spicy. <laughs> um, it's my favorite one, it's an enzyme peeling from Susanne Kaufmann. I can really recommend it, it's my favorite one, as I already told you. So I will have a chill evening now, do some self-care, maybe I will do my nails and then go to bed and I hope tomorrow my foot looks a little bit better so see you tomorrow hello it's a new day and I am definitely feeling a lot better it's a little bit cloudy at the moment and I'm waiting until it's a little bit more sunny 
And I think I will go to the lake for a little swim, reading some pages. Hello again. Um, I thought I will answer some questions regarding the floor because I did a little Q&A on Instagram and you asked me some questions and I thought it would be interesting to also answer them over here so that you can always rewatch it and have all the informations together. We will start with the first question. With which company did you make the floor? We decided to make the floor with the company named eBot. The company is based in Austria in Tyrol and it's not that far away from us. We got the company recommended and after I read a lot about them and I had a look at the website, I directly contacted them and all in all the communication, the workers and all the stuff were super professional and competent. We told them our wishes and then we had our first appointment and they brought some samples from the different colors and we compared it to the kitchen furniture and the stone we will get in the kitchen and so we decided on a color. The second question is what's the name of the floor color? It's really perfect though. Thank you. The whole floor is a mineral cast floor and it's the Dopo Ambiente floor from Ebot and we took the color 002 natural or natural 002. But they have over 64 different colors to choose from, so the color palette is quite big. Why did you choose this kind of floor? For me it has always been a dream to have a floor like this, because I really love it. It's super simple, minimalist and calm. And due to that fact you can play a lot with different kind of furniture. For example, I always had wooden floors until now and I think it was so hard to always find the perfect table or the perfect shelf without having five different brown colors in, in an apartment. So this floor gives our creativity a lot of space and that's why I really love it so much. And in our current apartment we have for example a natural wooden floor and this floor is so tricky because you can see every stain from watering the plant or when when you drop something oily or lap something like this you have to stain it and you can really see them and that is so annoying and on this floor you can just wipe it away with water is the floor more robust than a normal floor of course if you drop something heavy you will get scratches or like a little hole up but you will get this in every floor but if i compare it with the wooden floor we have now i would say it's more robust and easier to maintain so as i mentioned in the question before it's easier to clean it of course when you have stone in your shoe and you walk through your apartment you get scratches but you also get scratches on a normal floor if you know what I mean. <laughs> so it's always like how you treat the floor. What are the advantages of such a floor? The floor is made of mineral components. It's very low in emission. It's a high quality floor. It's non-flammable. You have over 64 colors. The floor is easy to maintain. As I already mentioned, I personally think it's super easy to maintain because you can wipe away all the stains with water. But there are still some things you should keep in mind. For example, over the years it can happen that the floor get, cr get some cracks, but I personally love this because the floor grows together with you and the floor is alive, so I really love it. Last question, do you get the floor for free and how much would it cost? No, we don't get the floor for free, we also pay for it, it was a dream of us. And the floor costs about 100 euros per square meter but this always depends on the color and how wrinkled your floors are and also how much um, product you need for example we bought the apartment with the finished screen it was designed to have a parquet parquet floor in it so we needed lots of more product than normally that means that our floor was 
more expensive. But if you have any questions or you, you're you thinking about getting a floor like this, just write the company, ask them and you will get an offer and they will tell you all the important information and then you can decide if you want it or if you don't want it. But I can really recommend you the company eBot. I will also link it down in the info box for you. And yeah, thank you for listening. I got this suitcase and I will start packing now for Paris. I think this is going to be super difficult because it's getting so hot in Paris. We're getting almost 40 degrees on Saturday. Oh gosh, I'm dying when I'm thinking about it. But nevertheless, I will start packing now and we'll end this vlog over here and I will see you in Paris.